Welcome to ArcPoint, my name is Marcus, and today I'm going to be teaching you a few different ways you can move a template from one project to another project. So, there are three different ways you can move a template. The first way is by publishing it to community content. The second way is exporting it. And the third way is copy and pasting. So, the first way, publishing to community content, can be done by right-clicking your template in My Templates, uh, pressing Publish to Community Content, and then filling out the information and pressing Review and Publish. Now, personally, I feel like it's the most inefficient way to share a template, especially if you want to keep the contents of that template secret or you want to only share with a few select people. Uh, this is because publishing to Community Content makes it publicly available to everybody, and that might not be what you want. I've actually seen a couple of people publish such and such object for such and such person, and they mention in the description it's only meant for this person, but of course there's going to be curious people like me that take a look and import the template anyway. So if secrecy or selective sharing is what you're going for, Community content is probably not the way to go. Of course, if you do want it to be publicly available, publishing to CC is A-OK. -okay. But otherwise, I would suggest one of these other options, such as exporting the template. So that can be done by going back to Project Content, My Templates, selecting your template, right-clicking and pressing Export, or Export as a PNG. So by pressing export, it creates a PBT file, which is actually pretty good, because the small size of these PBTs, generally, means that it can be transported and sent over Discord, so uh, the PBT file is usually well underneath the 8 megabyte limit that Discord puts on files being sent by a free user, which is nice. And when you re-import a PBT file, it comes with all of the attachments, such as custom properties, the custom materials, the scripts, all of that attached to the template comes well, with the PBT file. And additionally, so you can right-click and press export as PNG as well, which gives a nice visual option. And it'll prompt you to take a screenshot. You generally want to take a screenshot of the template you're sending. And it will create a PNG file that you can import as well. Uh, you can tell if it's a core PBT by opening it up and seeing in the bottom right corner that it has the core logo on it. Personally, I've never actually been able to get re-importing core PNGs working for me, even sent by other people. I'm not 100% sure why, but in theory, you should be able to take the PNG and drag and drop it into the editor. But as you can see, it doesn't allow me. I feel like I'm an edge case, but oh well. It does provide a nice visual option, and if you're working on a team project, sending beautiful PNGs of the templates is generally gets a better response than just sending a PBT file. So the way you can re-import a PBT file into a different project is by pressing Control C to copy, going to your core maps folder. And uh, let's say, I don't know, this homeworld copy template. Uh, you go to data, you go to templates, and you'd see all the other templates here. And you'd just uh, control V, paste that in. And generally you want to do this when you're not in either project. Especially the project you're importing it into. Because if you are and you save and you exit that project, this PBT file might not actually be here. And also, when you've created a new blank project and you don't have any templates, uh, there won't actually be a template folder. So generally, when I start a blank world, I create a template out of the default floor just to create this folder so that I can re-import the templates that I do want. Now, the final way, and I'm not actually sure how many people know this, is uh, by selecting something in the hierarchy. doesn't have to be a template, so I'm going to select this cube and this spawn point, and I'm going to press Control c save the project, 
go back to the menu, go to my other project, and then you can select the hierarchy and press Ctrl V to paste in the objects from the other project. So yeah, you can actually copy and paste between projects, making it the fastest way to locally move templates. Uh, but we're not done yet, so selecting this template, I can change the shape to a sphere. I can change the material to a green color. I can control C copy it, save the project, head back to the previous project, and press control V. And since it's the same template but modified, it's going to ask if I want to replace the existing assets or I can create new copies of the assets. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And then it's going to create a new template, which is cube dash one. And it's also going to create a new material, which is cube material one dash one. So it's not going to automatically override all my previous stuff if I accidentally copy and paste from a different project. So now, as great as this is, uh, it is not a perfect system. So especially with copying something with scripts in it. Uh, occasionally those custom properties might not be connected or there might be other issues. So in terms of reliability, a PBT is probably still the way to go if it's something very script heavy with a lot of custom properties. But generally it's, it's pretty good, especially with art stuff and just copying over objects. It seems fine. So yeah, just for a recap, uh, you could publish to community content, but then everything is publicly available for anyone else to use. Uh, you can export it as a PBT file. You'll just have to re-import it into the templates. Uh, you can export it as a PNG, which is very handy when you need a visual representation, uh, but personally I've never gotten it to work for me. And you could just copy and paste the object over, but in terms of custom properties missing, uh, that might be a thing, but I'd say it happens on a rare occasion. Thanks for watching, I hope you found it helpful. If you really enjoyed it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And additionally, that copy and pasting between projects is actually called clubber copying. I'm not 100% sure why. But either way, I will catch you in the next video. Arcpoint out.